Okay, let's talk about how we can make the Ava with a V in the back. This is going to be reminiscent of the old Hillary pattern. I've got Ava here and I've created a different back bodice here so that we can have just a single button at the back. That's our goal for this little video. Um, first thing you're gonna need is your Ava bodice back pattern pieces. This is view A, so it is pattern piece number two. If you're doing view B, it will be pattern piece number five. We are gonna use this to make new bodice, back bodice pattern pieces for the outside fabric and the lining. So you are not going to need your bodice back lining pieces at all to make this particular um, version of this dress. So go ahead and get your pattern piece and let's trace a copy of it. The main thing you need to start with is just that outside edge all the way around. We're gonna add some markings on the inside here in a minute. But, so you have everything lined up here. Come over here to where your fold line is. And um, I've already drawn some lines on here, but I want you to go to your fold line and make a dashed line on top of your new pattern copy right along the fold line. This is gonna be your new sewing line, your seam line for the pattern. Once you have that dash line in, then you can get a ruler and you need to make another line a quarter of an inch from that into the facing. So we are gonna draw a line right along here also. And then we are gonna end up cutting away this facing. This is actually the wraparound facing that comes with the Ava pattern and we're not gonna use that for this particular modification. So I'm gonna cut right along that line. So once you do that, this is what your pattern piece is going to look like. You're just gonna have, um, you know, cut right there along that cut line. The next thing we're gonna do is get out a ruler and I'm gonna show you how to draw this line that I have already drawn. But what you do is measure up from the bottom edge of the pattern piece up an inch and a quarter. And once you do that, you're gonna take the mark that you've made and line it up with the top corner of the shoulder neck and draw a line. So gonna draw this line across here. Now there's gonna be a little bit of area here where the neck changes just a tad bit. We're not gonna worry about that one bit. The next thing you're gonna do is come and you're gonna cut all the way straight up this line and that's what's gonna create the V for the back of the pattern. So this is what you're gonna end up with once your pattern is all cut out. Now, um, so what I have here, Ava V back, 24 months, view A, bodice back. I'm gonna cut two of this for, for my outside fabric and two out of my lining fabric. As far as pattern markings, you need to go ahead and add those two. Um, if you're doing the view with a flutter sleeve, you'll have your little mark over here for the placement of that. You also need to, you know, we've made, we've created this new line here. We need to put a dot right here, kind of at the intersection of our seam lines down here at the corner. This is the point where when you're sewing it together, you're going to, you're going to sew up, stop and pivot, and then go all the way up as you're sewing once you get to that step. Um, you know, our seam allowance on the bottom is a half an inch. We've got a quarter of an inch all the way around. Another good thing to have marked is your center line, which is gonna be right, it's a half an inch over from your seam line, but it's gonna be right up in here. And your button is gonna be along that point. Now, buttons on this, of course, we're just gonna have one. You're probably gonna wanna go with a bigger size button than the pattern calls for. This little, button here is a 5 8 inch button on a size two just so you can kind of see how big that would be i've got this one here that is a three quarters inch button i think probably anywhere from a half to three quarters is your happy zone for the size of buttons you would want to do on this anything bigger than that might look kind of funny um, but you can see what you think but it's going to fall your button's going to fall you know pretty close to right along your center back line right there in that little space so um, as you're sewing, the construction is gonna be pretty much like the regular Ava pattern. When you get to step five, that is all about that wraparound lining that we have cut away. So you're gonna omit that step altogether. When you get to step six, you will already have your shoulders and everything stitched. And that's the point where in the pattern, it tells you to sew around the neck. What you're gonna do in that step is you're actually gonna sew from your bottom, um, this lower edge of the bodice at the back. You're gonna start there and you're gonna stitch up, pivot, 
go all the way around the neck, which would come up into here, and then stitch down your other side. So that'll make more sense when you um, are making it and you and you see um, at what point you're in on step six. But anyway, I think that's all you need to know. Good luck and happy sewing.